everyone! Welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. From now until April 10th, which is Sunday, um, at least from what I can discover, it's now from April 10th, each classic princess Disney doll, or even I think the non-classic princess Disney dolls, now that I think about it, like just the classic dolls, not necessarily the princess dolls, but the classic Disney dolls, including Tinkerbell, are on sale, yep, for $15, and that's regularly $20, so that's exciting. So this is the first time I've opened the cardboard um, recyclable, there you go, packaging, so it's hopefully going to be super easy to open, and I got Tiana because Tiana is really pretty, and because I have another reason for getting Tiana because I have her Tiana accessories or accessory pack um, and right now the Tiana accessory pack is not available at Disney Store however it is available on Amazon isn't that weird so I will put a link to it for Amazon and I'll actually put a link for all the Disney Store dolls too like for the Disney Store but I'll also put Amazon links for the dolls as well because for whatever reason Amazon has several Disney Store products and it's from the Disney Store like it's sold via Amazon but it's through the Disney Store including several accessory packs that are sold out on Disney Store. I don't know why, but I'll put Amazon links there. They're affiliate links, so if you use that link to buy that or make another Amazon purchase, I'll make a small commission. That will help the channel out. Thank you. Um, but the Disney dolls are just $20 on Amazon, so if you want the deal, get uh, go to a Disney Store to get the $15 instead of $20. All right, so... I think I'll open T or Tinkerbell first, because uh, I'm most excited about Tiana. <laughs> I really do like Tinkerbell. Um, I like Tinkerbell in kind of the more bratty Tinkerbell. That's the kind of Tinkerbell I like, because she's got attitude. <laughs> um, I mean, I like the Tinkerbell movies as well, but I, I like the original Tinkerbell. I like the attitude. She does seem sweet, but a little. Like, I feel see a little mischievous streak in her. And definitely the drawing on the back, you can see the mischievous Tinkerbell <laughs> of her. So this is all recyclable packaging. Um, this is for, not for children under three years and up. And yeah, plastic free package, which that's so cool. Yay. Okay, so um, probably should have figured out how to open this first before doing it, but you know. I have my own special way of doing things. I think I pull from the bottom, like, right? I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. I've seen the commercials. Oh, hey, yeah, I do. So there's a sticker right here at the bottom. So I will cut that sticker. That was easy. All right, so it just comes out and then, oh, I see, okay. So you take this sticker, you uh, cut the sticker, and then you pull this out, and then wow, you open, oh wow, you open this, and there's Tinkerbell, and she has, a, she has like a background of a bunch of flowers, a bunch of purple flowers, which makes sense. Whoops. And then the lid falls back on, sure. Now it's interesting because in the picture of the doll, like her hair is just up in the normal Tinkerbell bun, a little bit of bangs, but there's no like tendrils where it looks like on the doll there's actually gelled tendrils. Unless the bangs are just really sloppy, which could be. So yeah, kind of some tendrils right here and here. So that's fascinating. All right, let's take her out. Oh, I am so excited. And things dropped. That's okay, it's fine. Band-Aids dropped. Yes, I have Band-Aids now in here because <laughs> when I cut things, I cut myself. So I have Band-Aids in here, but they dropped. But I think that should be okay because I think I won't need Band-Aids. Wow, that was so easy to open. And in the... The cardboard backdrop, you can... Okay, what can you see? Is it trees? I guess. I don't know. 
these trees like a, a sun and then for whatever reason it has like half of the doll on the side that's kind of weird on the other side of the box you have um disney peter pan in writing and then a picture of neverland the island of neverland And then we have Tinkerbell with some gel tendrils. Her bun is very gelled. Oh, okay. So what I think this is actually, I think this drawing of Tinkerbell is the old Tinkerbell before they did the packaged, uh, the recycle free packaged. Because this one, her wings are blue. All right. Now I need to stop the tape to see if that's how her wings are on the Disney Store website because I'm so curious now. So I'll be back. You probably don't care. I care though. I care. Because now I'm confused. So I'll be back. Okay, so to me, this doll that comes in this plastic free packaging looks like the 2020 version of Tinkerbell that came that was in the tons of plastic packaging because she looks different than the doll online. So the doll online to me looks like she has whiter wings, maybe some blue, but definitely whiter looking wings. No tendrils at all. Um, so that is super fascinating to me. She is tied in the paper, like this is all paper, so no plastic at all, like paper little, little ties. So I'm going to get that out. Oh, that's cool before I get that out. Uh, so the front, like there's a little tab, it's hard to see, but you can just pull out the tab and then you can let her go. So I might do this first so that she doesn't fall out. So take this, all right, you take this tab, there we go, there she is. It also seems to me that on the website, the Tinkerbell, the bottom of the skirt is more white and not as clear. Like this one to me seems more clear than white. just how it seems to me. Okay, so I'm going to... Well, I was going to try to untie the back with my... without using scissors, but I think I still need scissors, so... And, oh! Her shoes, there we go! Okay. I just realized she will be really hard to put on a doll stand because <laughs> of the wings. But the wings probably can come off, or maybe they can't. I know, I think they're stuck onto her dress. Oh, that's fascinating too. Hmm. So I thought maybe her wings could come off because I remember Tinkerbell dolls way back in the day, I think had like a strap that you could connect the wings to the dress, but this one, I, I think is connected to the dress, let's see. I Velcro this. Yeah, it's uh, connected to, her wings are connected to the dress. There's like little, little tiny straps that seem to connect the wings to the dress. And like, probably if I cut these little straps, maybe they would come off. But I don't know, it's stuck to the Velcro. Yeah, I don't think they would. So it's like glued, I think, to the Velcro. So yeah, I don't think I can get her on a stand because I, I don't see how that's possible. <laughs> so her wings are blue plastic, like bluish clear plastic, but they're definitely a, a, definitely a blue hint. Um, and despite the fact her wings are glued on her dress, I'm, I'm curious how long this will last. I think especially if you buy this for a child, that with play, the um, the wings might fall off. So she has the blonde hair in a bun. It's a little bit messy with some tendrils and blue eyes, brown eyebrows, uh, pink lips, and she has a teeny bit of what I would say a smirk. She has a green glittery dress, and I wish they weren't glittery because glitter gets everywhere, but oh well, for whatever reason, Disney Store is all about the glitter. And her uh, dress, like the skirt part, is in these glittery leaf designs. And then she has some clear, clearish, 
of a rainbow tint um, material that's in the shape of the leaves down by her skirt. And she has flat feet and green shoes with the white little, <laughs> white little puffs, little, yeah, I guess that's what we'll call them, puffs on her shoes. And she is articulated at the head. She can move left and right. She can move her head up and down. That's exciting. She can move at the shoulders, at the elbows, and the wrists. Yeah, the wrist. And because of the glitter, she has a ton of glitter on her legs. And you can sit at the hips. Let's see, how will her sitting, can she sit down with those wings? Well, kind of. Now let's see if she has a bend and snap. Okay, so she can, has the bend and snap knees. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to display her, because again, the wings. But at the same time, I actually like the wings, because, I mean, the wings shouldn't come off. But how am I going to display her? I guess I'll just have to, like, shove her in the back and hope that her, if she can stand. No, probably not, huh? Probably not. Yeah, the problem with these Disney shoes is like they're just impossible <laughs> like for dolls to stand in. And I'm not going to take, like the only parts that have plastic are the, where the shoes are tied on and I'm going to keep them on because um, I will lose the shoes. I don't know about you, but I will, I lose Disney shoes. So I'm going to put you right there and then just take out the brush. And it is a green brush. And on the back of the brush, it has a design of a castle and a little princess tiara or crown on the top. And there you go. I do like with this that you can display the doll in here. And now when I think about it, like, I could just display Tinkerbell in here, huh? Although I kind of like her out because then I can see her better. But I could if I wanted to, especially if maybe she doesn't fit on my, in my, uh, place that I have for dolls. I could just fit her back in here. Um, I was really close to getting Rapunzel because Rapunzel's playset is like the tower that she looks out of. But I told myself I have too many Rapunzel dolls and I do. I have too many. I probably don't need another. You hear that probably? I might get another. Let me know in the comments if you ever want to see my Rapunzel doll collection and they'll probably just be the princess dolls because I have like toddler dolls as well, the animator dolls. Um, oh, and other, a few other, oh yeah, I have Hasbro ones too from Tangle of the Series. Um, but if you want to see my Disney doll collection and see all the Disney dolls and I can compare them to you, uh, let me know. What do you guys think of Tinkerbell? Do you like that her wings are stuck on her dress? Or would you prefer them not to be? Let's now open Tiana. The Tiana is also plastic-free packaging. I really hope since they're doing Tiana the series that they will give let us more Tiana dolls with like all the different clothes she wears in the movie and whatever clothes she'll wear in the series because seriously, Tiana has the best outfits. Like, she really does. She has the most outfits, the best outfits. I love all her outfits. I want all her outfits. And yes, so I would just like more Tiana outfits, please and more than just her in this green dress. Thank you, Disney Store, for totally listening to me. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so she's on the balcony, trying to wonder how she's gonna get her dream, and she sees the frog on the balcony. What I don't understand, though, is that since Tiana is on the balcony, like this is supposed to be Charlotte's room, that she's sitting on the balcony where she sees the frog, she should be in her blue dress. I love Tiana's blue dress, and I don't like how Tiana is always in the green dress, because she wears that for like a snippet of the movie. So, okay, just rant over, so I mentioned that. And again, she has other outfits that are gorgeous. I don't know why they always put her in this outfit. I'm kind of tired of this outfit, but that's okay. She's so pretty. 
And she has the, um, well, I'll take her out first before I describe her. Okay, so let's open. Let's have that fall. Okay, so the plastic, or not plastic, cardboard tab is in here. So open that. Okay, so you can see that these are the doors. That was to Charlotte's, um, Charlotte's room, her friend Charlotte's room. So, here's that. Oh, she's so pretty. I can see dimples. It's exciting. Oh, and that's interesting. So on the back of Tinkerbell's, there was like some stuff to hold her with, but on this one, there's not. That's fascinating. So I assume I can just open this up and just take her out. Oh, guess I can. Wow, that was really easy. Uh, the glitter. Why the glitter? Why does the store are you obsessed with glitter? Do you know Tiana? No. No, she doesn't know. Oh, I meant to mention too that Tinkerbell has an open mouth smile. So you can see her white teeth, the same pink lips. Whereas Tiana has a closed smile. And it's hard to see, but she has, come on camera, little dimples that are so cute. Does she have a dimple on the other side? I think it's just, oh, both sides, both sides. She has faint dimples on her lips, so cute. She has beautiful brown skin, black hair. She has a little curl that goes down in the middle of her forehead, or the side of her forehead, rather. She's wearing the crown uh, that she wore, like the little leaf-looking plastic crown tiara that she wears at the end of Princess of the Frog. She has her green dress, which again, I don't know why, because they're breaking her on the balcony. Why have the green dress when you have the blue dress? But the green dress, which um, kind of looks like leaves, she has a white lily on the front of her dress, which is on her right side. And then she has, um, I don't like the feel of this dress at all. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't like it. I'm very sensitive to feeling. Let's see, I don't, nope, I don't like Tinkerbell's feeling either. I think it's the glitter. The glitter just makes it very stiff and I just don't like that feeling at all. Um, So like kind of green uh, layers, green layers that are sparkly, light green, that kind of look in the leaf pattern in a way. And then underneath she has a very glittery overskirt with patterns of flowers and leaves. And it's uh, a clear overskirt, but green glittery flowers and leaves. And then underneath she has a very light green material which feels so much better than the glitter part. <laughs> I don't know what kind of material it is, but it feels nice. Kind of like a sheer feeling in a sense that it feels much better than her glitter. And then she has just a green flat that I will not keep on because I'm going to put her in a different outfit, which I think I'm going to do in a separate video because this video is seeming long. She has the same articulation as Tinkerbell. She can look to the left, to the right, her head could go down can go up, movement at the shoulders, at the elbow, kind of, at whoops, the elbow, there we go, a little stiff, and then at the wrists. Um, one thing I did see in the comments of a Disney store Tiana doll is that why doesn't she have her gloves? Because at the end of the movie, she's supposed to have gloves. And it is weird. I will agree. That is weird. They don't give her gloves. Or they haven't changed her mold for a while when they've done that with other dolls. So these are the two dolls I bought. And again, right now through April 10th, yeah, Sunday, April 10th, they're $15 each. So if you buy two, that's $30, which is pretty cool because like one is $20. So... I, I think that's a cool deal. And I am going to film another video now where I will compare Tiana to my other Tiana doll and I will fit her in her doll, her accessory pack, which is the reason I bought this doll for, so I could put her in her accessory pack because I don't really care for this green dress in case you couldn't tell. Which means I will take off her shoes. They'll be exciting. Okay. Let me know what you think of Tiana or Tinkerbell or just the classic Disney dolls. 
Um, I know I don't have a Disney store in my area, so yeah, you have to pay for shipping and handling. What do you think of Tiana? Do you think she should come in a different outfit? Like any other outfit? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Yes. Which is your favorite Disney classic doll? Um, my, my favorite probably is Rapunzel. I have a Rapunzel problem. Big Rapunzel problem. Okay, I'm going to stop this now so I can film another video and see what Tiana looks like in the accessory pack. It will come out later this week. I'm going to try to edit this video so it comes out sooner in the week. So, because it'd be really a bummer to release this video on Friday when you only have two days to take advantage of the Classic Dolls 15.4. So I'm going to... I'm going to edit this and release it sooner in the week. And then the next video, comparing the Tiana doll to my other Tiana doll and putting the accessory pack on, which I'm very excited about, should be released on Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like this video if you liked it, of course. I hope you do. Um, it's okay if you don't, though. Because remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay young at heart. Really quickly, forgot to mention that Tiana also comes with a brush that's in the package and it it's a little harder to get out than Tinkerbell's again no plastic so it's just cardboard just take it out and it's the same as Tinkerbell's except it's a light green instead of a brighter green like Tinkerbell's but it has a picture of a castle a little crown on top and oh hey look at this I didn't even notice this little bows too Little bow on the top, little bow on the bottom. That's fun. So, yeah. Okay, but now I'm going to film my other video. Bye!